Hey guys, what's up? It's Melko Zonky. So this video is going to be kind of a money-making guide. I'm going to show you quite a few different methods. I've been getting a lot of questions lately, asked several times a day. How do you make money? Um, how I make my money is something that I've touched on in so many videos, but in this video I'm going to be showing you guys some methods where you can kind of try it out yourselves and see if it works for you and if this is a way that you'd like to make money. I tried to keep these methods fairly low requirements, so most of them you can do with having a pretty uh, low level account. Um, some of them require stats or quests that you might have to work for in the future, but if you really want to make the best money in the game you're going to have to put some effort into gathering the stats to be able to do that but anyway I am showing methods in this game that are up to four mil an hour and aren't very hard to do without a whole ton of requirements and I also tried to put in a few methods that aren't very well known so I'm guessing that even if you are an experienced player some of these things you either didn't know about or didn't know that they were this good of money per hour anyway I hope you guys enjoy watching the video and I hope it helps some of you out that really struggle to make money so the first method I'm going to be showing you guys is making unfinished potions. These can be done with any herbs. I just got to tell you guys before you start, check the GE prices because some potions are better than others. You can make money without a scroll of cleansing, but it's not very good money per hour. If you really want to make bank using this method, you're going to need a scroll of cleansing, which costs 20,000 dungeoneering tokens, which isn't too hard to come by. Um, you can get that at a fairly low dungeoneering level in the mid 60s. So I figured for a lot of you guys, you, this can be a great way to make money um, so it just completely depends on the prices how much money you can make but uh, in my testing my slight amount of testing I found that I made about 25k and it took about 30 seconds flat so there are some GE limits in the herbs so you can only buy a certain amount of herbs per hour but at the same time if you can really stock up on those herbs you can make absolute bank making these unfinished potions My second method is exiled cow fights. A lot of people know about these, unfortunately. Um, they're also a very good way to gather blue charms, but at the moment the chitin scraps that are used to repair the drag ores are worth a ton of money and are selling at very, very high prices on the GE. So you just want to kill these things. Also the quest Desert Treasure is extremely important, so if you don't have that quest you can still get there, but you have to teleport to the desert city of Paul Nevnich and then run south. It's just a bit of a farther run. If you have the Desert Treasure quest completed, you can use the lodestone. It's much easier to access. But anyway, these chitin scraps that you get from killing these exiled cow fights, they are worth a ton and they are very good money right now.
My next method is Black Dragons. With the release of Divination, these be became from 1.5 mil to an hour to about 2 mil an hour just because you can stay for much longer trips and you don't have to bank as often. And also, the Dragon Bones at the moment are just worth a lot because of the lack of bots in the game. However, there were a few suspicious characters at the Black Dragons, as you'll see later in this video. But you need the subquest for the recipe for disaster saving Sir Armak Vars. It doesn't have very high requirements, and I'd also recommend like 70 plus range to kill them. Anything lower than that, it's not going to be very easy to kill them. Also, the higher your divination level, the better signs of Porter you can make, which are super useful for banking the hide so you don't have to um, make bank trips as often. But of course, you can kill these without signs of Porter at all and just bank the hides and the bones altogether. My next method is legit rune crafting, and not many people know this, but crafting cosmic runes at 59 rune crafting or above is actually 1.5 to 2 mil profit an hour right now. It is extremely good money, so I would recommend checking this out if you want a way to train rune crafting that's just really you get a slight amount of XP for it. It's not very good XP per hour, but you can make absolute bank. And it also does not have very high requirements. You can get up to 59 rune crafting in just a couple days at the rune span. And after that, you can just craft cosmic runes and make a very large amount of GP. And this is also non-combat. So if you're a skiller or someone that doesn't really like to do combat all that much, um, of course, if you're a skiller, you can't really go in the abyss. But you get what I'm saying here. It's just a very easy way to make money at low stats. And also, you need the Lunar Diplomacy quest for Astrals. They're not quite as good money an hour as Cosmics, but they are a bit better XP an hour if you're into that. But anyway, great, great, great way to make money and gain a little bit of RuneCraft and XP on the side as well. Next is Ascension Mo Monsters. In this video, I'm going to be showing you Rorarius. I also have a guide for Gladius, which are better XP and charms, but worse money an hour. I will leave the link to that guide in the description, so if you're interested in better XP, better summoning XP an hour, and slightly less GP an hour, check out the guide in the description. But to kill these, you need 81 Slayer. That's the only requirement, um, and I'm guessing if you have 81 Slayer, you'll have a pretty decent range level as well. And I actually, in my testing, I killed these for an hour, and I earned... You'll see what I earned, but it was quite a bit. So you get a lot of Ascension Key drops from these guys, which are worth between 400k and I believe 800k is the most expensive one. So they also drop some stackable items as well, and this overall is just a very, very great way to make money, and they're so easy to kill. I'm surprised there aren't more people killing these monsters at the moment, because they're just bank.
the final method I want to throw in here is Dagonoth Kings. The reason why I'm putting these in here, I know they are a high requirement monster, but not a lot of people kill Dagonoth Kings in the EOC. If you have seen the price of Dragon Hatches lately, they're about 3.5 mil each, you'll understand what I mean. Not a whole lot of people know how to solo them. A lot of people think they're very dangerous. They're obviously very easy before the evolution of combat. However, they're quite doable after the evolution of combat as well. So if you're a high-level PVMer, you're getting tired of Bandos, you're getting tired of Nex, and you still want to make pretty good money, up to 5 mil an hour at max stats, check out Dagonoth Kings. I'm going to have, again, a link for these in the description. I made a very detailed, in-depth solo guide on how to kill them, so just check out that guide if you're interested on an alternative to doing God Wars Dungeon or Queen Black Dragon. You're getting bored of those, but you still want to make decent money. These are a great alternative. Thank you for watching the video, guys. This is going to be all there is to it, and just remember, even though I showed you a lot of good money-making guides in this video, there's always Slayer, which can be great money, as you can see from my Slayer tab here.